the game can see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. BoxingBoys.com live here with Justin Briggs. Uh, you're going to have your second fight second, now yeah. on uh, the Real Deal Promotions right. in Queens, New York City, November 18th, right? Yes. Um, I believe Alicia Napoleon is on that card. I seen her in Gleason's oh, the other day. Yeah, yeah. Please. But uh, talk to us a little bit about your, your upcoming fight. Well, um, let me fight on the 18th. Uh, my hometown, I fought in Atlanta uh, about two weeks ago. I was scored a first round knockout in uh, 36 seconds. And uh, it was a good fight, man. I'm just loving the pros and loving uh, you know, who I'm signed to. And uh, you know, everything is gonna go great. Wow, two weeks ago, keep staying busy for sure. Now yes. you're over here in New Jersey getting that work in Jersey Boy Boxing Club. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about your upcoming opponent. Do you know anything about him? Or at this level, you know, um, you I worry about yourself? I've I seen him fight a little bit. You know he's a he's a good he's a good good fighter and everything like that and uh, but you know nothing's gonna stop me. You know, I'm going there and do what I got to do. Uh, I plan on putting on an incredible performance for everybody. Obviously, you're new to the game for the fight fans, so introduce yourself in terms of you know tell of the tape. Let them know your height, your weight. Okay, uh, I fight at 154. Hmm. Um, I'm six foot and uh, southpaw. So what would you consider your style? Who do you? I guess uh, not idolized, but who'd you come up watching? I mean, you know, as a as a kid, man, like I didn't I didn't watch any of the sports. So like the first person I watched was, was Zab. So Zab to me was like Kobe Bryant. So I learned a lot of stuff from Zab. In fact, his, his father trains me right here, you old Judah. Um, and, and I think like you know Roy Jones, like a lot of Roy Jones. You know, I, <laughs> I try to be I try to be equal equal in everything that I do and, and well balanced, you know. And uh, pretty much, you have to come and see. You have to go watch it, and you'll be able to see. You know? So talk to us a little bit about that connection you made with Joel Judah. Obviously, it's always great for an up-and-coming fighter like yourself to have a world-renowned trainer in his corner, someone with all that experience. How'd you make that connection? How'd that come to be? My father was, was very close friends with him. You know, they were like brothers. And uh, you know, he told me, he was in Florida. I moved to New York. He told me to move up there and train with Joel. And my dad, he passed away uh, a couple years ago. So, you know, uh, me and you all just been rocking. He's like a father to me and everything. He has me, my brother. I have a sister that boxes as well. So, you know, he just looks out for all of us. And, you know, I have like the last great trainer from, you know, uh, New York City. Because, I mean, Zab is an undisputed champion. You know, no matter what anybody else did, there hasn't been another one from New York like that. So, I'm, I'm really blessed to be working with him. So uh, you're from the New York area, you said, but you lived a little bit in Florida? Yeah, I lived in Florida for a while, yeah. Making that transition. Are you hating it, coming up to the cold, or are you enjoying being um, out here in the tri-state area I, I with all this the, work? I hate the cold, but some summers make up for it. There's always something to do in New York, and people show you a lot of love, you know? And um, it's a very great network, networking opportunities, and uh, I, I love New York. Compare the two boxing scenes. I know I, I go and visit Keith and... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a couple of other guys in the Fifth Street gym. It's a little more difficult to get sparring on there. You usually got to call it in. How do you find it for yourself, and uh, how are you finding it out here in the tri-state area? Um, you know what? Over there, it's like you have to drive an hour to do everything. You know, so you want, and it's very like, it's not that many fights. It's like one top guy over there, another top guy over here, and it's like two-hour distance. Here, it's like, it's multiple guys. You know what I'm saying? It's multiple camps and multiple fighters and a lot of sparring. You know, so it's just it's, it's a, a great, it's an amazing boxing scene here in New York. So my final question, obviously you're with Real Deal Promotion, that's Evander Holyfield, new promotional company, right. but uh, you must feel some sense of pride in signing with right. uh, such a legendary fighter like Evander. Just let us know how that came about and how many fight deal you're in there with. Uh, me, I'm in a, a two, three, two year deal with them. Um, basically, they saw me fighting at the Golden Gloves and um, he told like the guy, Eric Bentley, he's like the CEO of the company, he said, you know, I want that kid. I came by the gym, I sparred for them, and uh, they, they liked me and they signed me, and you know, I'm just very, very blessed to be in that position. You know? Well, definitely we wish you the best upcoming fight. Let everybody know your social media so those can get behind you if they're not doing so already. All right, my name is Justin Biggs. My social media is um, at Justin Biggs. No, at the BK Torch um, on Instagram. Uh, you guys can follow me, I'll follow back. All right, thank you. The game can see the boxing boys.